it's Barb from Dollar Smart here at the Deception Bay Neighbourhood Centre. Um, today we're going to be making a basic biscuit mix. Um, so this one here, you can actually mix all these ingredients together, store them in the fridge or the freezer until you're ready to cook them. Okay, so for starters we take um, four cups of plain flour. I'm just adding a bit of air as I'm doing it. So I'm supposed to sift this and have no sifter. Then we will add three teaspoons of baking powder. That's one, two, three. Alrighty, to that we're going to add half a teaspoon of bicarb of soda. Half a teaspoon. And now we're going to add half a cup of milk powder. All right, so we take our half a cup measure, measure our half a cup of milk powder. So the reason we're using milk powder is so that we're making a mix that's going to be able to be stored in the fridge or in the pantry. And you can just add the wet ingredients when you're ready to cook. Okay, so now we need two cups of brown sugar. It doesn't have to be packed. Just lightly pack it. A little bit more. There you go, that's two cups. Close enough in my books. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Alrighty, so we're just going to quickly mix that up with our trusty wooden spoon. A rough mix. You can see it's all all the dry ingredients all together and now the next step for this part of it is to rub in some margarine. So we've got 250 grams of cooking margarine. I'm just going to dice that up into little pieces so that it's easier to rub it in. All right we've diced our margarine now we need to rub it in. So it's just a matter of just picking it up and rubbing it between your fingertips until, this, this process will take a couple of minutes, until the mixture resembles fine breadcrumbs. Okay, so we'll do this. While we're doing this, if you have any comments or suggestions on cooking, if you have a favorite recipe that you'd like to see in one of our cookbooks, let us know and we can certainly work to put it in. So if you do have suggestions or ideas or feedback, you can leave a comment on our Facebook posts. They're regularly checked. Okay, so we've got this. This looks like um, a fine breadcrumb. So that is this section of it done. This mixture, if you just pop it into an airtight container, it will sit on your bench, depending on the weather of course, um, for about a week. If you want it for a bit longer, pop it in the fridge. It will last for ages there. And if you want it to last for a long, long time, you can pop it in the freezer. But I'm pretty sure once you get it all done, mixed, the kids will love it and they will want biscuits all the time. So what we're doing today is we're going to make a couple of different varieties of biscuits with this basic mixture. So our first biscuit today, we're going to be making some orange biscuits. So we take two cups of this mixture and pop it into a bowl. And just remember this is the mixture that you've already pre-made and you've had stored. Just put that one aside for later. And now we add the rind of one orange. So we just scrape the, the rind into the dry mix. So we've got two cups of mixture. And then to mix it up, we just need to add extra ingredients to the flavor and a quarter of a cup of water. Remembering that we've got milk powder in there. So it will make that like a milky mixture. We've got the rind of one orange. Mix that through 
and then we grab one quarter of a cup instead of water we're doing orange juice so mix that into there just mix it around so it should just come together and just form a, a firm dough this mixture should make should make 24 biscuits just this one alone okay so if you the whole lot should make approximately 96 biscuits so once that's done we drop teaspoonfuls and put them on a paper lined tray So we've got our first 12 biscuits on the baking paper. I'm just going to lightly press them down with the floured fork. These go into a 180 degrees or a moderate oven for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so we're going to do some chocolate chip ones now. So we take two cups of the mixture that we've previously made, one half a cup of chocolate chips, and also one half a cup of, I've got here a mess, I've got um, slithered toasted almonds. So we just add those in, and we give that a little mix. One third of a cup of water and we just mix that up these are going to be chocolate chip and nut biscuits to save costs you can use the baking paper over and over again until it reaches a point where it just can't be used and again teaspoonfuls of mixture onto the tray this mixture should make about 24 I think we got 23 out of the last one, out of the orange biscuits. I said 24. I need to make them a bit smaller. But if you do happen to like a bigger biscuit or a bigger cookie, not a problem. Just cook it for that couple of minutes longer. At the moment they're between 10 and 12. So make it up to about 15 until they're golden. All right, so we've done the balls. Now we just get our floured fork and just slightly flatten them. And again, they go into the moderate oven of 180 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Now, put the orange ones out of the oven so they're nice and golden on the bottom. I've let them sit on the tray for a couple of minutes just so that they harden up a little bit and we'll just put them on the cooler just so they cool okay so this tray is ready to make some more okay so this time we're going to make banana and nut biscuits so we take another two cups of mixture So you should be able to get four different varieties of biscuits out of the basic mixture that we made. Okay, so for that one, we've got our, our mixture there. To that, we're going to add one mashed banana. One tablespoon of milk. And one cup of chopped nuts. Using up the almonds that I had previously, and I've also got some walnuts, a nice nutty mixture. And then we just mix it up until we get that biscuit mix again. Now, if you find it too dry, add some more liquid. And if you find it too wet, add some more of the dry mix or just some plain flour. 
Okay, so we're just taking the chocolate chip ones off the tray and roll our banana nut biscuits. Those teaspoonfuls again. My teaspoons obviously are more like dessert. And again, we should get 24 biscuits. Let's evenly spread them on the tray. And again, flatten them with a floured fork. They're all done. Pop them in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so the last lot we're going to make with our mix is I'm just going to add some sultanas. Roughly about a cup there. Mix that through the dry. And then we will add about a quarter of a cup of water. Just mix it around. And again, teaspoonfuls of mixture, rolled into balls, flattened with a fork, into the moderate oven for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so this mixture, we've made four different flavours of biscuits. But that's just the start of it. You can make it your own, whatever your kids like, whatever your partner likes. Whoever eats the biscuits in your house, if they've got a favourite, there's nothing to stop you from adding that to it. Okay, if you want to make jam drops, just do the mixture with the water and then do the thumbprint and fill it with jam. So this is a really versatile recipe that you can make it your own. Right, so, so just about finished. So if you'd like to taste these rest, this, these cookies, you're welcome to join us at the community hall next Wednesday for our community Wednesday afternoon, I should say, for our community connect day. There'll be lots of people here from the community and services that you'd be able to link in with if ever you need any help. So we have now finished cooking our four different flavors of biscuits. We've got orange, banana, choc chip, and sultana. Um, these can be put into an airtight container and frozen so they don't all have to disappear at the same time. Just take them out a couple of hours before you want to use them or serve them. Um, these ones will be available for sample at the Community Connect Day, which is next Wednesday at the Community Hall. And we hope to see you there.